named git test. Then open this folder in your favorite editor. Here I have the git test folder that we just created open in my Visual Studio code. Let me add a file to this folder named index.html. Now you can see that I have added in some HTML code into this index.html file. Let's save the changes. Now let's switch to our command line. At the command line, go to the git test folder and let's initialize this folder to be a git repository. So to do that, add the command line, type git in it. Now, this folder has been initialized to be a git repository. So this is our first git command that we have learned, git init. This initializes the current folder as a git repository. And when it initializes the folder, it will mark that folder as a master. This is the master branch for my git. Now let's not worry about branches and so on. We will not deal with that in this course. We will only be working with the master branch in this particular specialization. So this would be marked as a master. Now this is the initial point of our repository. The next command that we're going to look at is git status. If you type git status in the command line, it'll tell you the current status of the folder. So let's do that at the command line and see what it shows. At the command line, type git status and read the information that is tapped out on the command window. You see that it says open branch master. So that is the master branch that we are on. And it says untracked files and then shows index.html in red. On your specific computer, it may be using different colors or represent this differently, but this is what it shows on my Mac. So now this index.html file that we have just created in this folder is now not been added to our Git repository. So let's go ahead and add that file. to the git repository. So to do that, we say git add, and you can simply say dot, which means that all the files in the current directory will be added to what is called as the staging area of my git repository. So now if I again type git status, you will see that uh, the file index.html is marked in green and it says changes to be committed there and then shows the uh, file name. And then so that means that this file is now ready to be committed to my Git repository. So the next command that we saw was git add. By using git add, you can add file or folders to the staging area. So once you add it to the staging area, then you can commit that snapshot of our folder um, status to our Git repository. So that means that when you do the Git commit, what this command will do is commit the current state of our folders into our Git repository. So all the files as they exist at that moment, once they have been staged using the Git add, then they will be committed to our Git repository when we execute the Git command uh, folder. So at this point, when we execute the Git command, then our initial state will now be changed to the first commit to the Git repository. So let's go ahead and do that. Back at the command prompt, let's type git commit, and then we can even add a message to our commit. So I'm going to say git commit minus m first commit, because this is our first commit to our git repository. So uh, when I do that, it says, okay, one file has been uh, added to the git repository and some other information will be typed out onto the command uh, window. So let's now check again, git 
status. And now you say that uh, it says nothing to commit. Working directory is clean. So what that means is that the current state of my working directory or working folder has been committed to the Git repository. So a snapshot has been committed to my Git repository. Now I can type the next command called git log one line and see that it shows a number there, an eight digit number there, and then also shows the message that we put into our commit saying first commit. So that is the log of all the commits that have been put into my Git repository. So going back to our next git command, we saw that git log dash dash one line will see uh, show us a brief log of all the commits. If you simply type git log, it will display a lot more detailed information about all the commits. Uh, but this is sufficient enough for obtaining information that we require.